nzuri sana kwa sababu imetusaidia na ku relief community Sasa sasa tumepata hii maji tumefurahi mtu anakuja hata kama saa 4 Tunataka watushikilie tuone hii kitu ikiwa inaendelea kwa kila wakati Samburu County is an arid and semi-arid county covering an area of 21,022.1 square kilometers. The county is home to the Samburu people who form a majority of the population and whose main occupation is nomadic pastoralism. Here, livestock plays an important role in the Samburu way of life and culture. The population of the county depends entirely on the livestock for milk for for meat and even sometimes selling to get some income we are talking of over 90% of the population uh, engaged in the livestock production over 80% of the Samburu county is rangeland that is frequented by drought leading to severe water challenges for both livestock and domestic use. Tulikuwa na shida mingi sana kama ya maji. Mbusi hata wakitaka maji ngombe tunapeleka mali mrefu sana. Tunaenda kushimba kadamu kidogo. Tunapigana hata makelele kwa sababu mtu mwingine akitangulia anamalisa maji kabla ya mwingine. Samburu County is one of the six counties that are benefiting from the Multinational Drought Resilience and Sustainable Livelihoods Program, DRSLP, a regional program covering eight IGAD states. The program was initiated to address drought and other disasters in the Horn of Africa region. In Kenya, the program was launched in July 2013 and is expected to close by June 2021 and is covering Baringo, West Pokot, Turkana, Isiolo, Masabit and Samburu counties. The program is co-financed through a loan from African Development Bank and the Government of Kenya while being executed by the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives. This is a project that came up after going through a serious drought effect that hit the county in the year 2009 and 2010. It was a serious drought that affected several counties, not only Samburu. And the, the livestock keepers, or rather the pastoralists, they lost almost 80% of their livelihood to that drought. So once this project was conceived, it focused on resilience building for this uh, pastoralists. Some of the achievements made by the program in Samburu County include construction of dams, drilling and equipping of boreholes, and construction or rehabilitation of cattle dips. We have been able to develop uh, three dams. Uh, Losuk, Longoan and El Msigioi. The three dams have a capacity of over 50,000 cubic meters each. And uh, they are strategically positioned or rather placed to serve the communities, especially at the border points where we have had resource-based conflicts. Over the past years, residents of Lodokejek Ward, Samburu West Sub County, faced severe water challenges. As Josephine Leyago narrates, the Lemisigioi Weir Dam, with a capacity of 52,000 cubic meters, constructed by DRSLP, has been a blessing to residents of Lemisigioi village. Samani tulikuwa na shida sana ya maji. Kabla hii silangu ingia hapo, tulikuwa tunakosa maji, tunatoka hata karibu hata saa nane ya usiku, unakuja kuenda kutegea maji, jo inatoka kidogo. Vile sasa tumepata hii maji tumefurahi mtu anakuja hata kama saa 4 ya mshana maji. 
the dam benefits 1,400 households directly, over 10,000 heads of cattle, and over 50,000 sheep and goats. The dam has a chain-link perimeter fence and draw pipes that transport water to cattle troughs and stands for human access outside the fence. Tunataka kuweka hata samaki. Sisi hatujui mambo ya samaki lakini tutanaasa kujua kwa sababu hakuna maji ya kufuka samaki hapa. Sasa hivi nimepata maji ya kufuka samaki. Tafuka sasa ngombe na mbusi na samaki na mboka. Tumepata vitu mingi ya kufuka. Mwangasa imeingia katika area ya msiki yoi ya Sirai Dam tutashirikiana tutashikana moja kwa moja kuona ya kwamba hii dam haitaharibika na haitafanywa kitu yoyote sisi wote tukiwa committee community tunalinda hii silango kwa njia yote kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana 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 In Samburu North Sub County, the DRSLP drilled the Lebukoi borehole that yields 7 cubic liters of water per hour and is serving about 600 households, about 5,000 heads of cattle, and over 20,000 goats and sheep. Initially, the water situation at Lebukoi borehole was heartbreaking. Kwa mambo ya maji. Maji kukua hapa tunakuta vijana ambaye wale walikuwa wanapeleka ngombe pale mrefu wamepata nafasi ya kufanya biashara yao hapa na pale kidogo. Kwa hivyo tunapata community nzima wamepomsika kwa sababu ya hii maji. Maji ya kugu, mali ya kugunia maji ni karibu. Mali ya kukulia ni karibu. Mambo ya kwa mama hata timekuwa kidogo sana. Issue of water which is also a rare a resources for animals we used to be there because of lack of water. With the new program we have four dams, we have 14 boreholes in place and our animals are not moving long distances. Other boreholes constructed by the project include Nomboroi, Mugur, Loa, Mabati, Swari, Angata na Nyukie, Longewan, Lesua, Loiting, Loa Bene, and Likishaki. Within the vicinity where we have developed the bowl, uh, women have grouped themselves and they have started producing um, vegetables within that uh, facility. To form groups, yawa mama, ya youths, na pia self help groups, illes go mixed men and women na hizo groups tukapatia mboga. Uh, na wakati watakuwa wamepanda hiyo mboga wataweza kupata hiyo vegetables kwa urahisi na hapa pia itakuwa na security kwa sababu watu watakuwa within always. Hakuna wakati hapa itakae empty. Na hata itapatia hawa bidii ya kuandika ya kuajiri washman alafu hiyo washman wanaesaliba through that vegetable. <tos> Developed uh, four cattle dips eh, for the tick control of livestock. The cattle dips include Sawan, Loiting, Lesdai, and uh, Bawa. Sawani cattle dip, located in Poro Ward, Samburu West Sub County, having been rehabilitated by the DRSLP project, serves over 20,000 heads of cattle, and dipping takes place once a week. On every Saturday, 350 to 600 heads of cattle are dipped. Uh, project here ambaye ni, ni cattle dip. Project ambaye imeansa kitambo kidogo. Back 1993, uh, 94 hapo. Na ilianzishwa tu na national government. Lavo hapo katikati, tukakosa kusustain. Tukakosa kukua sustained. So juicy. Mwaka huu, karibu January, tukapata tena wafadhili kutoka national government, e, wakishirikiana na county government, ndio sasa imeansa uh, kufanya kasi. Na average ngombe ambayo sinapita hapa, ni saidi ya ngombe miasita. Na tunalipisha kila ngombe shilingi kumbi, ndio tupate kununua dawa, uh, 
replace ile maji na pia kutoa hiyo maji. Tunafurahia sana kwa sababu tangu wakati tulianza magonjwa kama ya East Coast fever imepungua. To treat with the tick bond diseases it is high in cost because to treat one case of East Coast fever it costs over 6000 shillings and the probability for healing ni 50%. The costs they have reduced in controlling ticks because they, initially they used to go each fish farmer used to go it alone eh? and uh, no one could uh, le spend less than 10000 Kenya shillings to spray these animals and uh, even the spraying was not effective through this they are talking of reducing the cost of dipping substantially and uh, controlling the ticks effectively all the tick ticks are affected bone mm, bone diseases has gone down almost to that to, to, to that percent. DRSLP. Sisi tunapongeza sana. Tunapongeza sana. Kwanza tunataka watu shikilie tuone hii kitu ikiwa inaendelea kwa kila wakati. Tulianza tukiwa wachache hapa tu sawani karibu, sawani ka, ni kafile. Sasa tumepanua, tumepata vile je zingine tatu, tumepata ile inaitwa loiting, eh, tuna ingine inaitwa partuk, tuna Poro center wana pia wanalete na sekete tuko chini pia wanalete kwa hivyo tangu tulipoanza tukiwa wachache sasa wamekuwa kutoa ngombe kitoka hata mbali sasa The structures management committees have been capacity built through trainings Agricultural extension staff have also been facilitated with transport for easy access to farmers Before project starts uh, being implemented a committee is put in place and actually trained so that uh, they own the project, they accept theirs. So we, they don't see that uh, it's an DRCLP project. It's actually their project because they own it, because they have the community in place. Once uh, the staff are trained, uh, first they are given some facilitation. In terms of uh, transport, we have given uh, at least three vehicles per county and nine motorcycles. We are also working alongside the county extension service. So when they are moving down to the farmers, the county is also supporting this staff to reach the farmers. That continuous contact between the farmers and the agricultural officers has actually been shortened. Uh, by the availability of transport services. It is more convenient. We used to have a lot of migrations outside the county for the livestock. And in the process, we have, we have been witnessing a lot of conflicts for livestock with the other communities, Isiolo, like Ipia, Baringo. And um, since we started this project, especially within Sambur Central, the, mean, the movement of livestock in Sambur Central for the last three years is very minimal. Through the Drought uh, Resilient and Sustainable Program, I can say the original problem of conflict for resources, that is water and pasture, has been addressed between our neighborhood and among our pastoral communities. There is peace and harmony among these pastoral communities. Since this project started, it has kind of, uh, kind of changed the scenario of Samburu. Actually, it's a, it's a pace setter, even for the county government and for other stakeholders within the county. They were able to come in and identify the gaps that we did have within the county government and were able to fit in and fill the gaps. We wish that uh, in, in the lifespan, can you see if the project period can be continuously renewed until all those gaps are actually filled?